people ate 7,000 more calories in the two-week period uh, when they were eating ultra-processed food versus the unprocessed food. They we, were locked at the NIH? I mean, I've been to NIH quite a bit. Um, I don't. Uh, it's it's great for a day job or a day visit. I don't know that I want to be locked there. That sounds like a that sounds like the Stanford prison uh, prisoner experiment. I say this tongue in cheek and with such admiration for what he had to do, but I think it's so amusing that you know we have this totally Franken food toxic food system that's that's largely ultra processed, and it took amazing Kevin Hall to basically do an NIH you know funded study where people. What I say by locked is that they were inpatients at the NIH and every had ad lib, you know, unlimited access to food during each of those two week interventions. So it was two weeks of ultra processed food, two weeks of unprocessed or minimally processed food. And they could eat whatever they wanted as much as they wanted in both groups. And then they would weigh every single bite that was left on their trays. So they knew exactly, exactly how many calories they ate and literally just giving people this ultra processed food, which is devoid of what our bodies need and and therefore will drive people to eat more. They ate uh, 500 calories more per day for a total of 7,000 calories more in that two weeks. And they gained about two pounds and then lost two pounds in the unprocessed group, which makes sense, of course, because a pound is about 3,500 calories.